using PWM, then having a higher current will help you. But if you're using MPPT charge controllers, then you need to take a look at this. So what you should see on the screen is two uh, images side by side. Now one's a voltage and one's a current. And as you can see, it's the current that makes the difference and makes the power. Your voltage is relatively easy to make with solar power. So what you want to do is a higher voltage system uh, with uh, a desirable current and if you read or watched the other um, video about charge current you'll know that the higher the voltage difference to the battery voltage it's going to be a multiple um, difference of your current so if you have uh, 2 amps of current at 24 volt and you're charging a 12 volt battery what you'll find is that you'll get a, um, a 4 amp current um, and so and such like. So there's a factor between and a difference between what is your solar power voltage to your battery charge voltage uh, will multiply that current. So as you can see in the um, pictures here we've got a average day and the voltage stays relatively the same. The maximum MPPT on this is going to be about 120 or 90 and a half volts. So as you can see, it stays relatively regular all the way through the day. So voltage is very easy to make. But what you can see is the current. Now this is how intense the sun is shining. And as you can see, that goes up and down during the day. So it's volts times the amps or current. Uh, that gives you your wattage and your power. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you like this video and it was helpful, then do subscribe to the channel and click on the playlist for solar power and off-grid systems.